ask is about hydrogen bonding forces between two molecules of ammonia. I'm just going to do this one even though it is one of the homework questions. Ammonia is NH3. And it is okay to just draw the Lewis structure for this. You don't have to draw the shape. In fact, on the last one for dipole-dipole forces, it's okay if you just draw Lewis structures as well, as long as you mark the dipole and uh, show uh, uh, alignment or attraction between the different dipoles. Because what I'm gonna do here is, I'm going to draw two separate ammonia molecules and I'm going to draw the hydrogen on one of them closest to the pair of electrons on the other one and then I think oh, there are multiple ways to do this but I think one way to do it that's a good way is to draw a hydrogen bond as three de uh, two sets of three dashes. So this red part is the hydrogen bond. And to describe it, I would say the hydrogen covalently bonded to nitrogen on one molecule. is attracted to the lone pair of electrons on another molecule, or let's say this, on nitrogen on another molecule. So is attracted to the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen on another molecule. And you don't have to draw dipole arrows. You can draw dipole arrows. On this particular case, if you were to draw dipole arrows, you usually do need to draw um, the shape because it's not clear. Well, I guess we can draw dipole arrows. I have one more color here. So dipole arrows here. Are pointing towards the nitrogen. And dipole arrows here. Are pointing towards the nitrogen. And so what you can see from these dipole arrows. Is that the hydrogen will be partially positive and the nitrogen with all the arrows facing it will be partially negative. And so it really is just a strong version of dipole-dipole forces. Hydrogen bonding is not a bond. There are only two types of bonds in this course. Covalent bonds and ionic bonds. Hydrogen bonds are a strong version of intermolecular forces. Any questions about that?